Leah's battle with sleep deprivation reaches a shocking climax next week, when she holds Justin at knife point in the diner. Recent episodes have seen Leah's paranoia build to the degree where she believes Justin is working for Vita Nova, the cult that left them to die in an abandoned warehouse and kicked off Leah's trauma. With her mind playing tricks on her, Leah thought she heard Justin on the phone promising to fix her, before uttering Vita Nova's mantra, the end is near. Leah rushed home and started throwing some clothes in a suitcase in order to escape Justin. As we return to the Morgan house next week, Leah is interrupted by the unexpected return of Justin. Quickly hiding her case, Leah is on edge as she attempts to act normal in front of Justin, offering to make him lunch. Relieved when Theo walks in, and the second Justin exits the house she warns Theo that they need to leave immediately as they're in danger, Justin is working for Vita Nova. A perplexed Theo tries to calm Leah's panic to no avail as she continues packing. When he tries to convince her that she doesn't need to run away, Leah agrees. Instead, she suggests, they can go straight to the police. Her quick hop over to Yabby Creek, Leah tells a stunned Rose, Kirsty Marillier, that she needs to go and arrest Justin. Rose ushers Leah into the interview room and has a quiet word with Theo. Theo's assurances that Leah's accusations aren't true thankfully aren't needed, as Rose explains that Leah really needs to be talking to a doctor. Justin is called to the station in the hope that he can talk Leah around, but this only serves to increase Leah's paranoia further. As Leah watches Justin and Rose talk through the interview room window, her mind fills in the blanks. We can't have her knowing, she has to be dealt with, Justin sinisterly tells Rose. Don't worry, Rose apparently replies. We've got her now. The end is near. Having spoken to the hospital, Rose explains to Justin that the only way they can get Leah to see the mental health team, at this moment in time, is if they can convince her to go there voluntarily. But as Rose, Justin and Theo all enter the room to try and persuade Leah to go to the hospital, she believes that they've all turned against her and makes a bolt for it. Leah heads straight to the diner, finding Irene, Lynn McGranger, and Marilyn, Emily Simons, there. Composing herself, she offers to close up as the two head home. Once the coast is clear, Leah locks and bolts the doors and moves the tables and chairs, barricading herself in. When Justin later calls by searching for her, he sees the furniture piled and calls through the door, asking Leah to let him in. Desperate to talk her down, Justin pokes the door with a nearby plant stake and manages to force his way inside, those bolts aren't what they used to be, only to be met by Leah who is now brandishing a knife at him. Theo's not far behind, and after walking in on the tent standoff, he begs his aunt to put the knife down. As Leah explains that she's not going to be taken to Vita Nova without a fight, Theo secretly texts Bree, Julia Godwin, for help. When Bree eventually arrives, she warns Theo to be ready to call OOO if things don't go as planned. Will Bree be able to convince Leah that Justin isn't out to get her, or will she have to get reinforcement? <laughs>